Kyle was doing some research the other night about Nicaragua vacation rentals. Take a look at this clip. Doing research. Nicaragua stuff. San Juan del Sur vacation rentals. Kind of expensive. One twenty-five to five hundred dollars, or thirty-five hundred dollars a week. finding expensive vacation rental homes instead of regular we live there rental homes so we're trying to figure out how much it'll cost to stay there not on vacation if you're researching vacation rentals they are super expensive but if you just walk around the town I've read on some forums or just walking around the town and checking checking out the sign to say for rent or asking people around town if they know of any properties for rent that's the best way to go because then you can get really cheap stuff. So Kyle and I have been doing some research as far as all the different countries that we could possibly go to as far as living expenses and just the cost of living. And so we figured since Nicaragua was at the top of our list we would compare all the different countries in Nicaragua. So we looked at all the other countries in Central America, like Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Panama, and we compare that to Nicaragua, and Nicaragua, it turns out, is the cheapest place to live overall. Now, the cost of milk, and the cost of water, and the cost of gas, electricity, and internet, and rent are all variable in, in all the different countries. So sometimes, Electricity will be high, but internet will be low, or internet will be high and electricity will be low. And overall, Nicaragua went out on the overall cost of living. So that confirms that that would be a good place to start off with if we were to live in another country. Even though it would be our dream to buy a place in Nicaragua, I think that our route will be to rent because the process of buying something in a different country where you're not a resident or um, also getting a loan is more difficult and a lot of people they have said that um, they pay cash when they buy something from a country that they're not from so we just figure it'll just be easier just to rent and even though one of the things that we like to do is remodel houses and do that kind of thing um, we still figure out, figure that it will be a wiser decision to just rent. I read that um, some advice was given on a forum that you should go there and stay at a hotel for a few days while you go check out places to rent because then you won't be stuck with something that you're renting when you haven't even seen the place. Someone even was able to stay at a place for 100 Cordobas per night which is only about $4.50 US dollars. So that is insane because, I mean, in America, you pretty much can't stay at a place for less than $25 unless you're camping. And even then, that's hard to find. You know, usually it's around more like $50 for a cheap hotel. And, you know, obviously it goes up from there. So $4.50 a night for a hotel, I mean, Granted, it's probably not great condition. You'll probably get a shared bathroom. But if it's just for a couple days, in order for you to be able to find the place that you want to actually live in, it's worth it. You can get some really cheap, even beachfront property that we have seen for sale. So now you can see why Nicaragua is becoming a more and more attractive place for people to retire. And that's part of the reason why we want to go there too.